everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Subaru Crosstrek Limited and its 8-speaker 432-watt Harman Kardon system. This is going to be an in-depth sound system review. We're going to look at how the infotainment system works, check out speaker locations, see how Android Auto and Apple CarPlay function, listen to some sample tracks, get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the car. This is the top trim of the new Crosstrek featuring the 2.5 liter boxer motor, slightly more powerful. If you guys want to see more on the Crosstrek, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos coming out. We've got a real world highway fuel economy test as well as a full review. We always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB drive plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic sound system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Here in the Crosstrek, you've got your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, as well as bass, mid-range, and treble. So let's listen to those now. That's the easiest to get right where you'd want it. For speaker locations in the eight speaker system on the Crosstrek, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six up the front, and then seven and eight in the back. Those speaker girls down there are actually housing two speakers. Audio controls, you've got nice big volume knob with okay detents, it's a little weak, but they're there. And you've also got a nice volume rocker on the left side of the steering wheel. Track selection, you've got two nice physical track selection buttons here. When you're on your media screen, you also get track selection there, on the touch screen, and then on the steering wheel back and forth above the volume rocker. For audio inputs, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite, radio, Bluetooth, USB-A with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support, and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and a disc player. So what does that mean you're missing? Nothing. The Crosstrek has it all, and Subaru always does a really good job at providing whole plethora of audio inputs. We've also got a pretty decent touch screen. I actually prefer the smaller Subaru screen to the bigger one. I think the big system in the new Outback and Legacy is just a bit cumbersome. I prefer this one. Let's do a quick Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demo. I think it's going to kill my USB music when I plug it in. I don't know why. I just can't provide enough power or what. But that's what it was doing earlier. It's also kind of hard to get down into the USB plugs. Here is Android Auto. Oh, I didn't kill the music, so that's nice. Got your Google Maps. This is an offline device, so it's probably not going to show any map information, but see an okay resolution, decent response time for Google Play Music. You go home, you have your settings. Fine and dandy. Unplug that, plug in our iPhone for Apple CarPlay. That time it did kill my music, as you see. Watch CarPlay. For some reason, I don't know if the iPhone's just sucking too much juice or what, but it, my the, uh, USB stick actually turns off. The light turns off on it. But here you can see CarPlay works very well. It's nice and responsive. I don't like how the whole display gets taken up anytime you adjust the volume. Mapping also not showing up because it's offline, but that is there. Settings menu, you can see, works well. All right, let's go back, take that out, media, back to the sound test. All right, let's get on the road.
increased speed, we'll turn the volume down, let you listen to cross track at 70 miles per hour. Road noise isn't awful, wind noise is actually pretty good. You don't really hear the engine much either. And this next song can really test the limits of an audio system, so let's see how the Harman Kardon handles it. Too awful. There's a decent amount of mixing. Nothing's coming through too harsh. The only part is a little bit in the upper mid ranges. Some of those hits are coming through pretty strong on my ears. So I could do without some of that, but definitely not the worst I've ever heard this song. This next one, we're going to turn the bass all the way up, see how Subaru handles it. subwoofer. The Crosstrek actually does quite well with these kind of higher to mid-range bases. Pretty strong. I'm not quite feeling it rumble in my seat, but we do have quite a bit of mirror shakers. my thoughts on the 8-speaker Harman Kardon system here in the Crosstrek Limited. It's, it's decent. There are certain songs that really don't sound mixed well at all. The mid-ranges come through way too strong. There's not enough high-end, there's low-ends too much. But other songs sound pretty decent. So the system is certainly capable of good sounds. Just some weird mixing choices from the engineers at Subaru and Harman Kardon. I do love the amount of inputs, I love the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support, the infotainment system's fine in its responsiveness and operation. So objectively speaking, I'd be giving this system about a 6.5, close to a 7 when you factor in all the inputs and usability. Objectively speaking, for this price point and this type of vehicle, I think about a 6.5 is, is also fair. I mean, we're talking top level trim, it can be a little bit pricier, but really not too bad. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're able to get a good impression of the Crosstrek system. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, check out our other Crosstrek videos, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.